Cow tails. Caramel. It might be opened. Looks good. You like cow tails? Mm. I'm on my diet. I'm good. Okay, I'll just leave that right there for now. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. All right, back on the golf cart. Today is motor day. We are putting the K member in and we are gonna be putting the motor in. Now, when we put the motor in, there's a couple different things we have to do to it before it goes in. So it's gonna go over on the bench and we are gonna do some uh, Predator 670cc motor upgrades. Time to get that stuff thrown in. So if you guys are doing a swap kit in your easy go, I highly recommend going with this brand. Vegas Carts makes it so simple. They give you new extended cables, nice billet mount. They give you a clutch, exhaust that's all prefabbed, ready to go. I mean, all the brackets are nice. So again, if you guys are doing this, highly recommend going with them. Pretty simple instructions too, that we are definitely gonna read because we don't know what we're doing. Alrighty, we got the cradle in. Uh, as you can see with the rear end drooping, it does kind of look like it's going down. We did our best to get uh, the estimate of once it's loaded, it being level. So what they wanted you to do was lower the cart and have it loaded to have it level. So that's one thing we can't do because we don't have anything else on the cart, but shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, getting everything snugged up right now. We can always just pop off the top bolt and then undo the heim if we need to go up or down on it. Oh, also, if you do this and do a full teardown, save your bolts. Save all your hardware, everything, because these U-bolts, we didn't even know that we needed. They were in our scrap bin. Luckily, still, we saved everything. You need them. So we also saved all the hardware, even though we're not using any of it. There's some random stuff in here, like these spacers. Who knows where that goes, but I'm sure once we put the cart back together, we're gonna find out. All right, so we're actually gonna be doing the rear end brackets. And it's just a stabilizer bracket, right? Yeah, it just stabilizes it to the green. Yeah, so basically goes on this side of the diff. It's gonna connect to one, two bolts, I believe, and then connects right here. Support bracket is in. You must have that in before you start your car up and drive it because it will do damage to your engine. Yeah. Is what it says. Oh, were we putting shiny pieces on? Yes. Woo! A bit more probably. That yeah, either or. Oh, I yeah, had two times. Honestly, where it's at, it's probably fine. There we go. Cool. All right, motor plate is in. It's going quick, man. It's pretty fast. All right, next up is the extended shift cables. So, forward reverse shift cables, and these ones are too short now that we have, it's kind of got to weave through to a longer one. So, nice thing is, kit comes with brand new ones. All we gotta do is get them swapped over. And one other thing we're doing right now is that rusty nasty thing. We couldn't get the Ford. Yep, she gone. We couldn't get the Ford reverse uh, switch actually off because it was rusted on there. And uh, it's a common thing, obviously. So we got a brand new one. So that's what Carlton's replacing right now. But I think what we're gonna do now that that's off is we actually should clean up that whole thing. So we will be doing some cleaning. Yeah. Alrighty, as you guys saw in the time lapse, the shifter cables are in. So these are all extended. That way it uh, is able to go all the way down and back to the shifter brackets that I think we're putting on next. No? We are on to motor stuff. Oh, we're on to motor stuff. 
Woo! Reload. Oil relocation kit. Oil cooler. Oil cooler. Putting Clutch. Clutch on. It's the fun part. Alrighty. Moment of the truth. Is it actually in the box? Boom! This is some serious, like, cardboard. It's almost like a motor crate. There it is! Sucker is a lot bigger than I was thinking. Sick! Let's get it on a board. Oh, so yeah, it's on a board. We should just pull it out of there. And we'll just pull, break the box apart, probably. Predator! Hopefully, I've got to return it. It's like Christmas. It's literally like an un unboxing a motor. Alrighty, so these motors are pretty big. They actually come with an oil cooler on them. The only issue is, is it gets in the way. So they make a oil cooler relocation bracket. I uh, don't know how this goes on there, but it goes on there and relocates it out of the way. That's what we're doing now. Oil cooler relocation bracket is done. Looks pretty good. They make you cut it two inches off the hose because it's too long once you rotate it. So, <clears throat> not bad. That's what do we got next? Uh, it's the clutch. No way. And it says, the clutch can be installed before or after the engine is in the cart. I think one also thing that we can do, when, one other thing is that we can take the exhaust off. Absolutely. Get it out of the way. Okay, clutch is on, and they actually, Las Vegas Carts gives you a different keyway, and that keyway is larger for a tighter fit on the clutch. And you gotta torque it to 40 foot pounds. I'm not gonna be able to hold it. <laughs> but yeah, so Carlton's gonna hold it for me. Torque it to 40 foot pounds, and then uh, that's it. Got the governor mod done. So basically you take this spring away from here, put a solid rod in there, which we just use welding rod. And then you take the spring back here and use it as a return spring. So that way it can't spring apart when you're trying to go as a governor would act, I guess. Cool. Clutch is all torqued. What's the next mod? I think it's the carburetor. Plunger we gotta take out of the carburetor. Carb, Carb mod. Carburetor mod next. deep and tearing apart a brand new motor what is that thing called it's the plunger in there that we're tearing apart right yeah that's the uh, it's the solenoid so there's a solenoid right there and there's a little plunger in it when we tear it apart and we're just pulling that plunger completely out as you can see right there it's the fuel solenoid fuel solenoid got to do it for more power right well yeah and it says it'll shut the motor down if uh like you go up hills and stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. We don't want that, especially with my fat ass on it. It says it can be dangerous if it happens to you. Not long enough. <sighs> <laughs> All right, we need a longer socket. Okay, everything's going back on. Uh, where's the plunger at? Let me pull out. There she is right there. Yeah, uh, we had a two-hander, so couldn't show it on camera, but that's it. Now we're going to throw this guy back together. As long as I know what I'm doing. Definitely like this. There. 
this guy clips into. Okay, so we ended last night with finishing the carb mod for the performance, and the next thing we were gonna do before putting the motor in is get the wiring harness set up. Here we have, I don't know exact terms, I'm not familiar with everything, but basically this is your startup for the motor with the key, uh, your throttle, and your choke. We're getting rid of this part, and we are going to be wiring in the key harness that Tori bought. We have to do a few things, take a few things apart, put a few things back together. It's really simple. Um, they have a really easy instructions for it. So I'm going to be running through that right now, um, quick and easy. The first thing we're going to start with is taking this mechanism. Um, key box. There we go. Key box. Okay, so we're going to remove the key box and we're going to have to disconnect a few of these wires here. Um, I don't know exactly what each one each one does, but it'll be this yellow wire here, this black and red wire, red wire, and then the ones to the starter. We'll take those ones off because those are getting replaced with all new wires on the harness. <laughs> Okay, so the key box is off, and now we have this bracket here that actually needs to be removed as well. We take this off, and then these bolts here go back in. And then we are going to pull this guy here. So this part here is actually your tip over switch. Um, this is something that you don't want on this motor for the golf cart. So we're gonna remove that and remove the bracket. <laughs> Okay, so we got the bracket off, these bolts here went back in, tightened those up, and then pulled the tip over switch off. And that was the red, green, and yellow wire. Everything necessary to take off is off, and now we can start putting the new wire, or the new wiring harness in. The first thing we're gonna be putting in is this new charging pigtail. Uh, it's gonna go here from this red wire to our starter here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna install in this harness is the green wire here, which is ground. And we are going to use this bolt here to ground our wire and our harness. Now that we have the ground attached up here, we are going to attach our two wires to the starter. And that is this fused red wire and the yellow wire here, which is going to go right onto this spade. We're gonna make sure we get it in the connector. Like that and then this red wire onto the post as well like that and then there will be one more wire that goes to this post and that will be the positive from the battery so now we have the black wire here that connects the black and red uh, the only thing I noticed about the instructions is there's no instruction for this yellow so I'm gonna leave that unconnected for now and once we get it in the car we can mess with it but that's pretty much it for putting the harness on. Super easy, super simple. And I'm just going to get these tied up a little bit better and kind of out of the way. And we'll call it good. And that whole harness is in and we'll be ready to run inside the car. Or cart. Whatever you want to call it. What's up? What's up? Well, uh, you know, putting a big badass motor in my golf cart. Yeah, so just get it all set up. Uh, as you guys just saw, Carlton got the key start wiring all done. Thanks for doing that, buddy, while I was gone. No way in hell I'm touching any kind of wiring, so. Yeah, but I, this wiring you definitely could have done. I could have done it? Like, if you can read it, well, you can't read, so. Oh, uh, shit, okay, it involved reading? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, not gonna happen. No, but it was super simple. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. We got a spare 20 minutes between me working a lot of overtime at work and uh, taking care of the baby with the wife. <laughs> Just like that, Doesn't it's in there. Fit, so it has to come Doesn't out. fit, gotta come out. <laughs> oh man, it's so nice having the lift, isn't it, buddy? It's funny because the instructions say two person lift or a forklift. Or a forklift. <laughs> forklift? Yeah. <laughs> Who has a forklift? Yeah, just a spare forklift in my garage. Yeah, <laughs> unreal. All right, there it is. Uh, surprisingly, it, I mean, I just saw that it was pretty big on the bench, but it is a lot bigger in the cart than anticipated. So one thing we got to keep in mind, buddy, is when we do the alternator, alternator is going to go right here. So it is all based off of the, I don't know what you call that. I think the flywheel or something on that side. Yeah. There it is. Pretty sweet, dude. Looks Not sweet. bad. Yeah. Looks sweet. Yeah, I'm excited. It's just so easy. <laughs> Everything we've done so far has been like, it's hard to compare it to I, anything that we work on because it's so easy. I think that's the reason. I think is because yeah. of what we work on. Yeah. Like this is like two bolts, everything. And yeah. That's it. If, you, if we did, took all the time and just put it in one day, it's probably been a solid eight hours putting this thing back together. Maybe le no, less than that. If you don't include the prepping of this. To be no, I'm thinking just like once it came back to us, we've probably been doing all this in like six hours. Yeah. Like if, yeah. And if we didn't have any of the hardware issues. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, the hardware issues. But that's, yeah, simple. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now we get to do some fun stuff. We got to put the exhaust on still. But before we do it, the exhaust is probably going to be one of the last things just to give us more room. Wiring, battery, put the rear driven clutch on. Uh, clean that up, clean everything up. Just the fun stuff. Put all the panels back on and send her. That'll be fun too. I gotta figure out what kind of battery I'm gonna get. Cause well, this one, well. Little baby Optima? I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty small area. This is where it goes or where it went before, but I can measure it and try to find some batteries. Oh, okay. So that's just like an accessory. Oh, that's probably for like uh, the tack or something. It's for like the, yeah, it's for like a tack, oh, okay. speakers and stuff like that. They put it into the harness. Oh, so. I see, I see. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be off the switch. So we'll probably have to run it off of this. Okay. That's why. Oh, it's gotcha, off gotcha. The key switch. Okay. Well, we could do like a bus bar or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We'll just run it to like a bus bar and then. Cool. Do something cool. Yeah. I'm excited, dude. It's going pretty quick. Uh, I don't have all the parts that we need, but I'm hoping within a couple of weeks, uh, everything will come in and we'll be able to finish this thing up. Maybe two, three weeks would be cool. So. That's the end of this video. That's the end of this video. That's the end of this video. It is. Bye. More golf cart stuff coming soon. Goodbye. <laughs>